everyone welcome back to my channel so about two years ago i had done a review on the dior book toe it's this one right here the medium book toe mine is in the toilet de pattern so i had done a review on this bag about two years ago um it was about half a year after i purchased mine and now even though i still do agree with a lot that i said in that video in hindsight, knowing what I know about this bag now, I would definitely say do not waste your money on this bag because there are so many potential defects you might deal with on this bag. Both defects that I have experienced myself with this exact book toe, as well as through my research online, defects that I found out that other people have also experienced with this book toe. So yeah, that's what today's video is going to be about um just even if you love the look of this bag and i do still really like the book tote um like from an aesthetics point of view but yeah i don't think it's worth it to potentially deal with the defects so the first defect i'm going to talk about is the one on my bag specifically and actually i should first say that all the defects are related to the glue that Dior uses to put these bags together. Um, basically, over time, they oxidize and um, I guess like it's also reactive with the dye of the, um, like the colors on the canvas in weird ways that causes that to change color. So let me talk about the defect on mine specifically. So basically, they apply glue to um, like the seams on the sides and also like where the handles are attached to the bag and also um, like if you see like over here if the canvas folds down and there's glue applied there too basically um, most of the seams that you see those are the areas where there is glue applied and it's not just like the book tote that um, has glue used in the manufacturing process. Actually, a lot of handbags use like glue in one way or another as they're putting the bags together. So with mine specifically, the glue has oxidized into this disgusting orangey brown color. And I'm going to show photos of the areas where you can see that defect. It's basically most apparent on these top four corners. It's all along these seams on the side um but i'm actually not sure how well you'll see it in the photos because if i had a lighter color bag it'd be more obvious but these seams right here are navy so it's not as obvious but like really on those top four corners it's so obvious some corners are worse than others and then as i mentioned where the handles attach as well as these pieces in here where it folds down those are the areas where you can see the oxidized glue and this is something that happened over time so it's not something that i was able to notice when i was still within like the 30 day return period since i ordered this online this is something that i noticed after like around two and a half years so if you have a book toe definitely keep an eye out on this and also on like the other defects too because um from when i talked to dior about this they have a two-year manufacturer's warranty on defects um so your life will be much simpler if you reach out to them within that two-year time period because like you know they should abide by their policy right um so yeah that is one of the issues. And the second issue, I see it more on the oblique pattern bags, specifically the navy oblique ones. So I'm going to show pictures that I find on the purse forum of people who have had that issue on their bags. Um, and you know, credits to the people who posted those pictures, it's obviously not mine. Um, so for that defect, it's basically where like you have like that oblique pattern that spells out Dior. So where it spells out Dior, it's in that like navy color and parts of those words 
with the blue dye it's basically turned this kind of like purple color instead and for that defect it's mostly around like this top portion so as i mentioned that kind of like one inch or so of the canvas that folds down inside the bag and then it's like glued into place so whatever glue is inside between the two layers of canvas has reacted weirdly with that thread and turned it purple and for that issue it's also um, showing up along these side pieces too so all four sides people seem to be finding that on there too and then the third defect is actually something that i saw on a youtube video um it's on a video that cindy um her channel is called a heated mess so it's an issue that she saw on her book tone um for hers i think she spotted it about like a year after she bought the bag my issue is i only spotted this like two years or so like two and a half years after i bought mine basically for her bag on the inside there's like a border that is like this nasty yellow color this entire seam is held together by glue underneath so it makes sense that like once you have that issue it's basically forming a line on the inside and like that yellow color is basically like seeping inwards and it's really disgusting um so those are the three defects that i wanted to mention for this video and like that's a lot for one single bag that's a lot of potential defects to have to deal with potentially happening to your bag and like i said their supposed manufacturer's warranty is two years um that's what i was told by a dior representative from their online um, customer service number so you know you gotta think these are defects that you won't know about until later, further down the line. Um, so is it worth it to buy this bag with the thought in your head that that might happen? And if and when it does, you might not necessarily be able to get your money back. So I think that is definitely like such a big con about this bag. Like I said, in hindsight, if I had known that would be an issue, I would not have purchased this bag even though I did enjoy using it. I just don't think anyone should have to deal with that. You know, this is like a $3,000 plus bag. So you would expect it not to have defects. And when I was talking to um, the representative from their customer service, the last thing that I was told was that if I wanted to buy another one, she can't guarantee that this issue is completely fixed on their end. Like she can't guarantee that Dior has completely changed up like the type of glue they use and whatnot so that it won't oxidize like this and it won't like react with the canvas like this. So it's just it's not worth it. This is not luxurious in my opinion. There's like so many better things you could spend $3,000 on. Um, I'm very aware that this is highly overpriced. Even when I bought it, I knew that, but I thought it was so pretty. The Toile de Jouy pattern was so pretty. I still like it, but I'm kind of a little bit tired of it too. That's a totally different story, um, totally unrelated to this. But yeah, it's just... It's not worth it at the end of the day. And I also wanted to just let you guys know that if you're looking to buy this pre-logged, um, maybe stay away from the ones that are produced like prior to like 2021 for certain. Um, from what I see, most of these defects are happening to bags that were purchased in 2020. And there are some that um, were purchased in 2021 where people saw this issue too so maybe they purchased it in 2021 but it was like older stock but then at the same time as i mentioned it takes time for these issues to pop up so maybe the newer ones it just hasn't been long enough yet so yeah keep that all in mind um before you make like an informed decision and also when i was looking at resale websites they do list like the condition of these bags like 
if there was glue residue showing, they would say that. If there was some discoloration, they would say that. But what isn't made apparent is that that's not normal wear and tear. Those are defects. And even buying like a book tow from a resale website, unless it's like totally banged up and like completely like just like a puddle, like there's no structure to it whatsoever. It doesn't sell for like that cheap, even when it's pre-loved. So, you know, this bag retails for like 3,300 or so. If you were to buy a pre-loved, it's like, I don't know, like 2,700. I'm just putting a number out there. And I don't think 2,700 is worth it for a defective bag. So definitely keep all of this in mind. Make sure you, you know, really, if, if you have one of these, maybe inspect it before you reach that two year warranty. So, you know, you have like one last chance to get a refund. Um, if you're looking to buy it pre-loved, look at the photos very carefully um, before you purchase it. When you get it, inspect it again, as well as do get it authenticated too. That's like, separate but definitely a very important point too and yeah if you even if you buy it brand new take a look at it because it's not always guaranteed that you know like you're buying something that was made in like the past month when you purchase it it might have been sitting at a warehouse so in all these scenarios take a look at what you're purchasing take a look at what you have but i still do not recommend this bag um I wish I could say that it was still completely loved even after two and a half years, but it really isn't and it's it's just really unfortunate because this could have been like great. Um, I thought it was a great bag for a while and this could have continued to be great, but yeah, this whole issue of the defects is just such a turnoff for me personally. It's put such a bad taste in my mouth, but I wanted to put this video out here because, you know, I don't want you guys to potentially make the same mistake. Um, so that's what this video is about. I hope it was helpful and informative for you guys. And if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do consider subscribing for new videos every single week on luxury and fashion. And I'll leave two videos on the screen for you to watch next. So I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.